Cindy, and today I'm going to show you how to use a fun little app called Room Planner. Room Planner is available on both Android and Apple products, so you can get it through the Google Play Store or the App Store. Uh, and while it is, I believe, made by IKEA, uh, we're not really we're not sponsored or promoting uh, IKEA, and I just chose this particular app because it has some really good tools and really good features. So if you've been looking to do any kind of renovation of either a room or your whole house, and you want an app with some really good functionality, I definitely recommend Room Planner. So let's get started. So first off, after you download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store, it's gonna look like this one over here. And when you click on it, it's uh, immediately going to ask you, oh, do you want to subscribe? You do not have to subscribe. You can just hit the X at the top of the screen. And it will take you to this uh, little, little home screen over here. Uh, so first off, you can look at any of the rooms that they offer. Uh, for example, if you wanted to try to renovate your laundry, you could hit add laundry. Uh, and you can either start from an empty room or click on find ideas. And uh, that's going to take you to other people's laundry rooms that they've started designing. So that could be a really good way to get some ideas. And you can customize what you're looking at in the top left hand by choosing specific sizes, uh, styles, colors, and a lot more. But let's go back. So what if you wanted to make a laundry that was completely your own? You'd click add laundry and start from an empty room. And uh, you would choose a room shape. Uh, just to be easy, we'll hit rectangular. And this is what they've given you. And this is how it's gonna work if you choose any kind of room or uh, a laundry or a kitchen or whatever. It's always gonna start you from approximately this uh, area. And uh, if that isn't the correct size, which it probably isn't, pretty big laundry room it looks like, uh, let's say that you know your laundry room size. You just click on the edge and then you can start pushing it back towards um, the correct size. Click on the bottom and try to do the same because chances are your walls usually aren't too terribly slanted. And uh, the, you can also hit uh, remove if you wanted to just straight up remove that wall, uh, but I didn't. So I'm gonna hit the back arrow on the top and then we go back. Uh, if you would like to avoid having to manually move the walls yourself, you can always click on a wall and click on size. But that is when it starts asking you about those pro features. So to kind of make things easier for yourself, uh, like looking at properties, uh, looking at length and thickness, that's when it's just going to keep asking you to upgrade. So we're doing this for free because uh, we don't even know if we like this app yet. So we're just gonna kind of do things manually. And uh, yeah, so let's say that this is the size of our laundry room. Well, you don't wanna just have an empty room, right? So you're gonna click add and that's when you can start adding things. Maybe you need to add uh, an extra door. Maybe your laundry room has, you know, a couple of, uh, of, of doors and you can just scroll down and see all that they offer. But let's go just a little bit farther, let's see. Well, they just have a ton of free things. But if you see something that has a green pro on it, please be aware that that is something that you are going to need to purchase. You're gonna have to upgrade to that pro subscription. But we don't need to do that. So back on up. Let's just choose a normal white door. And if you click on it, it's gonna give you the specifications and you can click add to room. And then you can kind of move it around with your finger wherever it is that you want to go. And if you notice, it also gives you the exact dimensions 
So that's really helpful if you're trying to get something exact. And then you can just hit back because you want to look at like washer dryers. You can also grab something with your finger and drag it on over to wherever you like. If you need to rotate it, when you click on it, you see that it has a rotate option and that will, will make it work. So that was our washing machine. Let's add just a, a dryer right on next to it probably need to rotate it as well. And so you might be like, oh, okay, well that's all it is. But this is our 2D look. If you click on open 3D plan at the bottom, you basically are now inside your room. And you can just use your finger to rotate the room around you. At this point, you can also, you know, make changes. Uh, so for example, you see at the top, it'll prompt you with some things where it says change wall or skip. And we do want to change walls. You can, you know, choose brick walls, wallpaper walls, tile walls. Uh, let's say I just want some tile walls for my laundry room. Make sure that you pay attention to what says pro and what doesn't say pro. Looks like the one I tried to click on is a pro. So let's just go with a basic tile. And you can kind of click on any wall, color, basic tile, apply to all, and done. And now all of my walls are this tile. We can also click on the floor and change the color. Um, let's do a basic tile. Oops, that's not what we want to do. Let's go back, done. Let's rotate it with our finger. Let's see if we can get the color correct. There we go. It says change floor at the top, so now I know that that's correct. And, you know, I can just kind of change it to anything I want. So if you've been kind of thinking about some color combinations, this is a great time to start. And in case you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm just using my finger and kind of pulling the screen around to wherever I want. If you want to focus, you use two fingers, you pinch them together, and then you open them. If you want to zoom out, you close those pinch fingers. And if you're tired of looking at the 2D plan, at the 3D plan, just click on open 2D. And honestly, that is as easy as it gets. Uh, if you look at these ellipses at the top, you can uh, export it, you can uh, sign in and create a portfolio, uh, you can make a whole shopping list. Like these are the things I've chosen and, uh, and if I really want them, I can click on info and learn more about them. And uh, anything that is linked to Ikea, I can also use and just like buy it from Ikea. Make a photo, export, free color screenshot, and now I have a saved uh, screenshot in my iPad. We can just keep going back. And so you can see that I have a couple of photos here. I don't have any saved ideas, but if I click on find ideas, uh, that's what takes me back to a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, and I can like heart them, I can bookmark them, anything that I want to do. Um, and, uh, and then I can go to home. And now when I go to saved ideas, I have a couple of saved ideas, a couple photos and a couple of rooms. And if you want to know what your rooms are, you know, you can just click on anything and it saved them just for you to look back at. So obviously there are just a ton of things that you can do with Room Planner. I've barely sort of scratched the surface 
and it is just a really fun little app to play with. Uh, for example, I'm moving into a new house pretty soon and I wanted to start um, designing my front room and figuring out, you know, is my furniture going to uh, fit in here? Are the color combinations going to work? And so I started building this floor plan, floor plan of my own. Um, and yeah, it's just saved and it was free. Uh, so if room designing is something that you're interested in, if you're doing your own renovations right now, I totally recommend giving this a try. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the video and I'll do my best to help you uh, learn how to use this app. So you have a good day. Bye-bye.